then this guy, wearing only peanut butter smeared all over his body, comes up and tackles me. You sure about that? Well, yeah. I mean, I just had a it huge... It just doesn't sound real. Yeah. I know. But I just had a huge lunch, and I was probably really tired after that. Maybe I'm... You know that's not how you you fall asleep, right? Like big lunches, small lunches? No, yeah, it is. That's why I have such a small lunch right now. Oh, exactly. People used to think that big lunches were what caused early afternoon fatigue. Wrong! Well, you know, clock-dependent alerting is a function of circadian rhythms that fosters consolidated periods of high energy and peak cognitive functioning. Oh. Okay. So it's not my lunch that's making me tired, it's my clock-dependent alerting that makes me tired in the early afternoon. Or because of your pregnancy. But we'll get to that later. You done with lunch? Yeah. Well, let's delve a little deeper while we take a walk, shall we? Let's go. Because of the Earth's day and night cycle, your biological clock is also 24 hours and 11 minutes to be synced up with that. Okay, so this is all kind of making sense to me right now, but what like is controlling this whole thing? Because what I'm imagining in my head is... No. Maybe you can get a better idea of it reading the Stanford Sleep Book by William DeMent while I take a nap. It's three o'clock, prime nap time. So, what'd you think about it? It is a real page turn. <laughs> no. Did you know that uh, the most common baseball nightmare is of getting hit in the face with a ball? About a third of all major leaguers share this nightmare in one form or another. He just has too many interesting facts. I was also hoping that you would read about the suprachiasmatic nuclei, which controls your biological clock. Have you read that part yet? Um, I couldn't, like, it was really long, and if I see a word I don't understand, I just skimmed over it. No. <laughs> Let me help you out. You should really turn to page 80 of William DeMent's Stanford Sleep Book. All right. There's the SCN. The suprachiasmatic nucleus, the SCN, controls all circadian rhythms. It is located at the base of the brain in the hypothalamus. Without the SCN, all circadian rhythms completely disappear. Oh, okay. So, now that I know that the suprachiasmatic nucleus controls your circadian rhythms, what does that have to do with me being sleepy right after lunch? Mm. The biological clock maintains wakefulness throughout the day. Afternoon tiredness comes from the weakening of the biological clock. In young adults, there is commonly another peak of alertness in the evening hours. Changes in circadian rhythms can also come from pregnancy and jet lag. Now that I know all about the SCN and circadian rhythms, I can eat as big a lunch as I want. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, no problem. Don't thank me, though. Thank William DeMitt. Now we had a lot of fun today, but we need to stop hypnic drinking around and sleep start telling all your friends THE DOWNY NASS IS RED ALERT! <laughs> Buy it right now.